Hey, everybody. Good afternoon, morning, or evening, wherever you are on the planet right now. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. I don't know how many times I've had to record this, maybe six or seven. I kind of got stuck on some of the names. I like to respect people's names as part of that. And plus, it makes it really easy to listen to when you can just go smooth, 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 smooth on the people's names. So I'm going to try this again. I only got to the first or second event, or the second event, actually, second and third, where I got to the the hundred. And then it was a little bit more difficult. But with that being said, welcome to the World Athletics U-20 Championships hosted in Nairobi, Kenya, 2021 pre-event coverage and analysis. I'm going to do an analysis on things that I know. Other ones, I'm going to read off the names of the athletes. I ask that you all just stay through even on events that you may not be interested in because they found out in World Athletics, the reason why they're hosting these championships they found out the most talent drops out between 18 and 20 years old. And so it'll be a shame. Uh, some of these athletes actually could use some support uh, with them as well, because, man, this is going to be a crazy U-20. We got the Clayton twins here uh, that will be competing in the 100 and 200. And then we also have Masalingi that has dropped down to the 100 to compete in that as well. And, you know, Masalingi don't have the best start at all, but there is a seed time of 11.38. So that might actually be good enough to make it through out of the first round, potentially even make it into the final. So this is going to be crazy if she can make it through to the final uh, in the uh, women's 100, U20. So with that being said, yeah, definitely if you hear a part, like when you get to the hammer throw, don't just exit out because I'm going to be covering the sprint events after that. But I, I want to give the heptathlon and the hammer in every other event. We do coverage on this channel. And when I say head and shoulders above the rest, these athletes making it here are head and shoulders above the rest because not that many athletes can make it compared to all the U20 athletes there. So I want to give them their just dues and just bear with me, even if it's on an event that you may not actually have the interest with. And so we're about to get into the uh, content today. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, because we're going to be covering track league an animated track league potentially or at least a fantasy race between some of your favorite athletes and we may even dip down to the u20 level so without further ado you are watching head and shoulders atr which we cover athletes performances and otherwise that are head and shoulders above the rest and we are covering the world athletics u20 championships hosted in nairobi kenya 2021 right the last time they hosted this, these championships in Kenya, they had a record of 60,000 people freaking storm in that, uh, that uh, stadium back in the U18 championship. Look at it. It's at the highest number of spectators ever recorded on the last two days of that competition. This, this is a five-day competition here that starts on August 18th. That's actually, depending on when I, I'm trying to rush this one out too, because when I host this premiere, it's actually going to be, I think, within 30 minutes or an hour of when I'm hosting this premiere is going to be the start. And where do you find this at? Well, you go to the World Athletics uh, Facebook or YouTube channel. I think it's going to be a little bit easier to watch it on YouTube. Obviously, if you're watching me on YouTube, head over to that after you see this uh, premiere and then go to there, subscribe to them and definitely check out the live stream. They also have it on Kenya NTV or NTV Kenya, I believe, on their website. But the easiest way worldwide is going to be on the uh, World Athletics YouTube channel. Definitely see the press release with Lord Sebastian Coe, uh, former world record holder in the 800, 1,000, 2,000, so on and so forth, talking about David Radisha, which actually won here in uh, 2006. So there's def definitely a lot of talent that comes out of these. Allison Felix came out of uh, running at the world youth level. Uh, we also have many other athletes that are uh, previous or former and current Olympians that have come out of this. So with that being said, here is heat one of the mixed four by 400 meter relay. Do not pay attention to these personal best times. You know why? Because this is actually uh, the national record. I, and, and correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think those Polish athletes were anywhere near 20. Like as in they were not tw under 20. All right. Uh, they look a much older than 20, some of them athletes on that team. Same thing with the Jamaican athletes, the mixed four by four. I don't think they were running this 311.76 this year, and they were looking uh, under 20 years old. They were not 19 and under, okay? So 
what I'm going to do here is give as best analysis I can. In lane two, Ethiopia. Lane three, Sri Lanka. Lane four, Poland. Lane five, India. Lane six, Czech Republic. Lane seven, Jamaica. All right, what do I think? Jamaica and Poland, I would say, are the favorites. It says the first three plus the next two fastest times to qualify for the final. So what I think is going to happen here is that Poland, they have a good U-20 uh, feeder uh, system, and they are really developed in their federation of developing their athletes in that age group that they mentioned that usually falls off the track. So I think they're going to be a favorite to make it out of this round as well as Jamaica. Now, anybody else? Ethiopia, they don't typically have a distance squad. I can't see them making it out automatically. Maybe they can make it with time, but I, I really doubt it, even with that. So they're going to be participating in this. This is going to be very interesting to see. But Poland and Jamaica, and especially Jamaica, y'all know from Jamaica, and y'all know from the USA, that if I saw the USA on this list, look, Jamaica, USA be competing in four by fours all the time. Like, Okay, especially at the uh, youth level, shoot, uh, they, they make it in three. If they don't, I'll be surprised. And I'll, I'll just be like, what the heck happened? Um, so here's uh, heat two. We got Ecuador in lane two, South Africa in lane three, Kenya in lane four, Italy in lane five, Nigeria in lane six. I say Kenya, Nigeria, they're the favorites, maybe South Africa with this because they're typically a sprint nation. But Kenya, they be producing some quick 400 meter athletes. Yeah, maybe you don't always see them on the world stage, but on that youth stage and on the, the world stage for the, the seniors, come on now. Y'all got to admit, they be putting together the teams. Nigeria, they become with Team Nigeria. Uh, Regina George was one of the athletes. I hope I can get her on here, actually, uh, to maybe do some coverage with this or at least in an interview later on. But they be producing 400-meter athletes, too. So Nigeria be having a squad, uh, at least on the women's side, definitely. Uh, pretty consistently. So we're going to see them. I would be surprised if Nigeria and Kenya don't make it to the next round. That's basically it. Whether it's automatic qualifying or qualifying by time. South Africa, I can see them uh, doing that too. Now here, let's look at the uh, hammer throw. And then we're going to do the, the heptathlon athletes. Then we're going to go to the 100 women, 100 men, 400 women, 400 men in the morning session. All right. Then I might do another uh, recording later on. I'm going to read off the names for this list. Uh, many of these athletes actually went to compete in uh, Tokyo uh, throughout all of these championships. There are a lot of U20 athletes that competed in Tokyo. John Baptiste Bruxelles, um, I think he actually, now nah, I probably mispronounced the mess out of that name, but Jean, I mispronounced the last name definitely. All the French athletes that I've been uh, talking, speaking French with in the comment section, y'all about to uh, flame me, but hey, look, I got to learn somewhere. But anyway, I'm going to read off the names of this list. The qualifying standard is 74 uh, meters or the next 12 best performances. And uh, maybe one of these people actually were a medalist. I'm not 100% sure offhand. I'm trying to run this one quickly. So I'm only going to mention the athletes that I can write, readily rem remember. This is a refugee athlete, if I am not mistaken. Or this might be a um, Russian athlete that is allowed to compete. Now, uh, well, there's Oleg, Jean-Baptiste, Christian. We have Juan, uh, Sebastian, Imran, John, or, or John of Slovenia, uh, Tomas of Poland, Markars of, uh, yes, Martas, Makars, Gregorio of Italy, Ethan of Canada, Aristus of Greece, I believe he had, uh, actually competed there. But let's say Aristus, Ethan, they're looking pretty good. We got Tomas uh, that's looking pretty good. I, obviously, John Baptiste is looking pretty good as well. Now let's go to the next one. Uh, Tomas of uh, Poland, obviously. Here's Group B. Uh, we got Dawit Palat. Uh, I think he's going to be one of the co-favorites here, actually, of Poland. Same thing with uh, over here, John Baptiste. Those are going to be the two favorites here coming in. Valentin of uh, Bulgaria looks pretty dang good as well. Theodoros, I believe he competed for Greece and Tokyo. Correct me if I'm wrong. Arto of uh, Finland is also looking good. Peter Juan of South Africa. Balaz of Hungary. Ronald Zayas of Cuba. Uh, probably going to make it through to the next round. David Costa of Italy. 
Vipin Kumar of India. Uh, India also has uh, several athletes that competed pretty well at the U18 championships and the last championships. So they're coming through um, and they are holding the backs of India on them, the hopes of India at this U20. Uh, so Aldo Diogo Delgado, Delgado, what the heck? Uh, Aldo Zavala Delgado of Mexico. And I, I know how to speak Spanish and I'm slaughtering these freaking Spanish names. Uh, uh, Dragos of Romania, and then John of Czech Republic. I think John is, uh, has a pretty decent spot to make it through. Obviously, you got to do it on the day of. Here's the heptathlon, 100-meter hurdles women. And then we got in lane one of Croatia, Clara. We got Estonia's Pippi Loda Inak in lane two. Hungary's Zabina in lane three. We have a, two Finnish athletes in four and five. That's Saga in lane four, Nia in lane five. We have... Um, in lane six, Sophie. In Ukraine, we have lane seven from Ukraine. Ukraine that's Valeria in lane seven. Lithuania's uh, Atin in lane eight. Now let's get to the 100. There's a lot of heats in the 100 for the men and the women. So here's the women's 100. Let me get to the high jump heptathlon of the same uh, ladies. So there's no reason for me to re-go over that list except for to do the start list, but hopefully you all are watching that competition. So we got five heats in the women's 100. First four and the next four fastest times to the semifinal. Now, here's very interesting. It's a little bit different than um, that would have happened in Tokyo. The morning session is going to do the heats and then in the semis for the, the evening session for the 100. You see it here for the women's 100 and then the women's or the men's 100. Then we got the final for the mixed four by 400 meter relay. So definitely come back and see that final because that's going to be a very uh, interesting pole vault final in the, uh, the first event. That's my personal favorite event out of everything in track and field. I find that my favorite, most exciting event. Then a four by one, I think it's very exciting too, but my favorite event is pole vault. And then I got the 3000 meter final in the afternoon. I'm just going to cover the morning section here and then upload this on YouTube. Now here we got in heat one, Right here, we got Dominican Republicans, Laranji Tejeda. Laranji Tejada. Tejada. What the heck am I doing with the pronunciation of some of these names? Um, in lane three, we have Lithuania's Andre. In lane four, we got Turkey's Zula. In lane five, we got South Africa's Kayla Lagrange. In lane six, I believe this is the overwhelming favorite for this heat. Uh, also probably in it for the mix of the medals. We have Bahamas. Camille Rutherford, we got Botswana's Ka, uh, Kayla, Kayla Pyle or Kayla Pile uh, for Botswana. In lane eight, we have Romania's Maria. So like I said, Rutherford, easy, could control the race, just get out hard, and then you look left and right, and you just jog the minimum effort you got to do unless you're trying to go for a good lane assignment. I think that would be the difference there going for a good lane assignment in the, the semis to make it out of the next round. Now, that would make sense to do that. Now, um, when it comes here, I think this is going to shaft either Maria on the outside or Laringi uh, or Tahada on the outside, right? Because they have very similar times right here for the best. And then they're putting the fastest person here with other people that aren't too much slower. Now, unless Botswana's athlete can actually muster something up, I think she's going to be dusted. Uh, but definitely, I think one of these two might get shafted here. They're going to have to just run blind a little bit because sometimes these athletes can't even see all the way there, especially with all the athletes that are just going to be running similar times next week. So here's heat two. But Rutherford from uh, the Bahamas, I think, is an easy favorite. That's going to be looking good for Bahamas for their uh, four by one as well. So Nigeria, uh, Nigeria's praise Ofuku or o Ofoku in lane two. Guatemala's Chacon in lane three. In lane four, Lebanon's Mesa in lane five. Poland's Monica in lane six. Finland's Joanna in lane seven. Turkey's Sime. And in lane eight is Jamaica's Karika Hill. I think Hill and uh, praise from Jamaica and Nigeria. Those are the two favorites out of this one. I'm going to go to the next one. Now, uh, yeah, 
but it's very interesting. One one last thing, it's very interesting. They put them on two opposite lanes. Like, is that literally what the uh the uh randomized uh heat thing did? I guess so. So that's what we're gonna see. I think Monica for Poland can actually make it out of this one too. What do you guys think of this one? <clears throat> in this one? I don't know why my uh voice uh skipped, but Karika Hill, I think she's got an easy through. Same thing with Praise uh Ofoku uh of Nigeria. Now here's heat three. In lane two, um, I think that's Bangladesh's Sumaya, Sumaya, Dewan in lane two, Finland's Anna in lane three, Switzerland's Melissa Gutschmidt in lane four, in Nigeria's uh Tima God bless in lane five, which I think is uh, one of the favorites to make it out of this heat. Uh in lane six, Ukraine's Yanina. That's good in lane six. Uh, Kenya's Mercy Chabet in lane seven, Namibia's Beatrice Masalingi in lane eight, and then South Africa's Charlize Ellard in lane nine. So now this is what I think. Masalingi got a fairly okay way to make it out of the top four. It's just the first four. Even with her bad starts, she's actually very comparative to the rest of this field. On paper, she would be the fifth fastest athlete here because we don't have a time for uh, Sumeya, but I think she could muster out something. She's been improving her time. Her personal best is 11.38. So, I mean, that's even faster than the entire field right here as far as a personal best. So if she could muster out a personal best here, if that's what she feels she got to do, I think that might be able to happen. We don't know, but it's going to really depend on the start. God bless, I think, has an easy way to make it out. Gut Schmidt as well. Uh, they got an easy way to – they put the two fastest athletes uh, as far as season best so far on paper next to each other. That's good. Uh, Masalingi is going to be running a little bit blind. She's going to be able to see uh, in her awareness there. That's what I got for those three making it out, actually. Anybody else is a little bit harder. One thing I want to point out is that Kenya has the talent, is starting to get the coaches together and the training together. As we saw recently on the men's senior side, not only did the um did he break 10 seconds, but he broke it all the way into the nine eights. All right. He went, he was like, all right, nine, nine, whatever, nine, whatever. And then went nine, eight. All right. So Kenya has the uh the talent, even though on paper, Mercy Chebet, which you would think is a uh distance runner name, just because he's so used to hearing these names for distance athletes, but they coming in, they're trying to do some sprints now, 1260. She ain't nowhere near as fast as the rest of this field, but I applaud the effort in Kenya trying to put out athletes to compete. Here's heat number four. Now, we have Sri Lanka's uh, in lane two from Sri Lanka, Madini. Madini. Yeah, Madini. In lane three, we have Czech Republic's Eva. Lane four, Jamaica's Tina Clayton. Uh, her twin sister is not competing in the... Uh, I, I, I noticed this the last time I had to stop recording right after uh, just because I messed up too hard. And then, so Tina Clayton is competing in the 100. So that means Tia is going to compete probably only in the 200, uh, maybe the two and the four. We'll see. Uh, Bahamas, uh, LaCarthia Cooper in lane five. I think she's going to be uh, somebody to watch out for as well. In lane six, so Jamaica is in lane four, T, uh, Tina Clayton. I think that's easy. Look how much faster she is than everybody else. She literally gets out and jogs. She can walk. So uh, Italy's uh, Gaia Bartello in lane six. Canada's Isabella Godros in lane seven. And then Victoria Forster uh, in lane eight. Here's the final heat. In lane two, Namada in lane three. Mag Magdalena in lane four. Antonella in lane five. Ivana in lane six, Lucy in lane seven, Charlotte in lane eight from Trinidad and Tobago, Leah Bertrand. Uh, the reason why I didn't read out some of the country names is, is because I did not know between uh, three of, well, two of the countries, and especially the first one. Um, so I apologize for the countries that I don't know, um, like this one right here, maybe Burundi, um, but I don't think that's the flag for Burundi. And then this is Monaco, I believe, right here. So with that being said, looking at this, Ivana looks like she has a the slight favorite here from Serbia. 
And then Trinidad and Tobago's Leah Bertrand. I think those are the two athletes I can call. Uh, even though the other athletes look like they could do something too, I'm just going to call those two. Now let's get out of this, go to the men's. Now the men, we got six heats on this one. So it's the first three in the next six fastest time. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult to make it out of this one. Here's heat one. In lane two, Brazil's uh, Igor Clements. That's what I'm just going to pronounce for that one. Three is uh, Canada's Almond Small. Four is Iraq's uh, Fala al Kazalu. Kazali. In lane five, we have Zimbabwe, I think. Uh, Clinton Munga. In lane six, we have uh, Czech, uh, Czech Republic's uh, Edward. In lane seven, one of the favorites from Nigeria, Godson Oke Ogun Brume, which is S.A. Brume's younger brother. All right. He has a 10 13, much faster than the rest of the field. He could get out hard and walk. That's all he has to do, especially in the heats, get out hard and walk. Now, I think this is from Nicaragua in lane eight, uh, Yekel, Yekel Romero. Here's heat two. One of the other favorites from Nigeria, Favor Ogine to Tejiri Ashe in lane two, right here. In lane three, Turkey's Umat Usel, Usal. And then in lane four, Brazil, Isaias Alves. In lane five from Cuba, Shener Montoya. In lane six from Ecuador, Catriel Angulo. And then we're just going to try to make this a little bit faster. Argentina in lane seven. That's Tomas Mondino. And then in lane Eight is Bahamas, Wendell Miller. Miller. Is this Shane Miller Weibo's younger brother? This would be very interesting. I got to, oh, wait a minute. This is Wendell Miller. Is that, uh, somebody tell me, is this Shane Miller Weibo's younger brother? I do recognize Wendell Miller, though. Um, I would say that he's probably going to make it out just from, I don't know, recognizing it, but he he he's going to have his work cut out for him when I look at these seed times. But um, Liberia's Arthur, uh, Kaka uh, in lane nine. But somebody tell me, is that Shani Miller Weibo's younger brother? So here <clears throat> from Mexico in lane two, Gerardo, Gerardo, blah, 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 whatever. I'm not going to try to put the uh, pronunciation here. I just messed up for some reason. Uh, Ponce in lane two, South Africa's Bradley Elephant in lane three, Uganda's Tarsis. Oregat in lane four. Uganda, actually, this is a pretty decent time. Uh, 1035 from Uganda. So they got the talent too. Um, I don't know what this uh, flag is. So in lane five, Ogden. In lane six, Botswana's Letsile. In lane seven, Iraq's Saif Al Ramahi. In lane eight, not sure uh, what country, but that's Yusuf. And in lane um, nine, I am not sure what flag that is. Ali Babai. So what do I see coming out of this lane? Who do I see? Uh, so fastest seed time is from Botswana. Tobe Tobogo uh, from Botswana. And from there, I guess Oregon would be the next fastest seed time. But I really don't know. I would say Botswana because they've been producing athletes that have been pretty good. Now, here we go. We have in lane two. This is heat number four. Remember, the first three, the next six fastest times. In lane two from Jamaica. That's Cranston from Jamaica. In lane three, that's Saud in lane three. Mondo's in lane four, Rostov in lane five, Khalid in lane six, Richardson in lane seven, Salas in lane eight, and Ulis in lane nine. I'm trying to speed this up now just by reading last names. Uh, but it looks like Rich Benjamin Richardson from South Africa is the favorite here with the 10-17. Remember, I said that he had the same time as the uh, Nigerian athletes that are the favorites. Darn it, my mic just dropped. Uh, the Nigerian athletes of the favorites. So 
This is going to be very interesting to see in the final. He could get out hard and jog. Cranston from Jamaica, I would say, makes it out of this as well. Now, in lane two, Diamante of Argentina. In lane three, Vori. In lane four, Meluzo. In lane five, that's Remigio. In lane six is Oliver. In lane seven, oh, from Grenada. Interesting, John. In lane eight, uh, from Namibia, Elvis. Uh, in lane nine, we got Sharon. So let me look at this list right here. That looks like Matteo Maluzzo from Italy has the fastest seed time here. Uh, Nazio John from Grenada is kind of there. So those two are going to be controlling the race. And then it's everybody else. Here's heat six. Remember, it's only three to make it out. So not four. They don't got enough. They don't have the uh, luxury of saying, hey, if I'm a top-ish athlete, I can kind of look at the field and jog it out. So we'll see. So in lane two from Honduras, that looks like uh, Hepburn. In lane three, that's Carlos Brown. In lane four, Level from Jamaica. In lane five, Alexander. Oh, Alexander. In lane six, that's Sumi Yi. Sumi Yu in lane seven. That's Nicholas. In lane eight is Ali Anwar Ali, Ali Al Balashi. Uh, in lane nine, that's Dominic. And I would pronounce the other one, but uh, I can't I can't do too hard to pronounce names in the row for some reason. Uh right here. I'm out of I've been out of my announcement. I, I have a uh I'm pretty anal about pronouncing people's names correctly, and I'm like killing myself on the inside right now because i announce uh and i know that at some level they actually have assistants that help them uh but yeah i'm just a good thing i'm not doing this because if i was i would prep myself a little bit more and i'm trying to rush this out before the uh races go out so hopefully on the next one i'm going to be able to pronounce their names a little bit better or at least give my interpretation of that now, uh, Level has, Brian Level of Jamaica has the best seed time here. I think he just easily makes it out. Uh, Carlos Brown probably makes it out as well as uh, Alexander uh, from Ukraine. So Bahama, Jamaica, Ukraine. Now, let's look at the 400, the women's 400. We got the first two in the next two fastest times to qualify for the final. So it's a semi into a final. Now, we got lane two from France, Matilde. Uh, three, Cornelia from Poland. Lane uh, four, we got Lucy. In lane five, Ella Clayton. In lane six, Tatiana. In lane seven, Anna Lee Robinson. In lane eight, Opayimi, Deborah Oke. So let me look at this uh, real quick. So Ella Clayton, I do recognize Ella Clayton here. So I would say that she makes it out if she can run her butt off because She's going to be actually a little bit outclassed by some of the other athletes. Here's an example here. Annalie Robinson is running a 53-26 coming into this as her season's best and personal best. But also Cornelia Le Lesiewicz, uh from Poland, she has a 52-02. So she outclasses the entire field. She could be looking around. She can afford to look around a little bit uh, with that. So I would say Cornelia from Poland. I would say uh, also Anna Lee and Opeyimi, they probably can make it out a little bit easily, but it's only two. So Cornelia, she's got the easy ride, quote unquote. She's got to run it, obviously. Uh, that's not easy uh, to be running these quick times. So Cornelia from Poland, I think she's got the easiest. It's going to be hard to call for second. Anna Lee Robinson, I would, I would lean toward because Jamaica does produce some pretty decent 400 athletes. So I would lean toward Jamaica in this one. Uh, I would like to see Ella Clayton, me personally, to see Ella Clayton uh, come out, but I don't think that's going to happen. Now, in, in Heat 2, we have uh, Sumi. I guess it's only a last name, Dot Sumi, uh, from India in lane 2. 3 is uh, Anna Orlova. In lane 4, we have Hinma, I mean, Hassan, right here. I'm going to pronounce the last name in lane five, Alexandria or Alexandra. In lane six, Veronica. In lane seven, Onika 
Mackinac of Jamaica in lane eight. Molepo Precious of South Africa. Now, looking at the heat times here, um, let me look at this for a second. Veronica right here. Uh, she's got a 52-7. And then, oh, I forgot. That's what I thought. Onika Makina of Jamaica, 52-54. So I think these two athletes, they might actually be racing uh, for that finish. So we're going to see how that goes to, to the final. Then I'm going to do my prediction there. But these two athletes from, uh, I'm going to guess that she's probably representing Russia, but they can't legally do that. And then Jamaica, those two athletes make it out. Um, lane two in the final heat, heat three. Uh, that's Comba in lane two. Erica in lane three. Uko of Nigeria in lane four. Priya of India in lane five. Nicola of Czech Republic in lane six. Sylvia of Kenya in lane seven. Caitlin of, uh, huh, that's interesting. I don't know what nation that is, but in lane eight. So looking at the heat times here, wow. Oh, yeah. They didn't allow uh, her to run in the Tokyo either. This was very interesting. So. Emma Bong and Moa, my Nigerian uh, people here, come on now. Is this a is this an Evo name here? Because I'm having a pronunciation. Or this is a Falani. Somebody tell me. Wait, wait a minute. Is Falani Nigerian? Oh, my goodness. Is this an Evo name or Hausa? Because I'm having a problem here. But in Moa Bong, say Uko. I'm just going to say Uko from Nigeria. Look at this, 5170. All right, y'all... Y'all help me pronounce this one. Get in my WhatsApp. I got a lot of Nigerian, Ghanaians, uh, Kenyans, and Ethiopians in my WhatsApp. Be up on there. We be having a party uh, doing that. And tell me how to pronounce this. I'm going to actually ask them. So Uko, she got a 51-7. She's probably the overall favorite in the uh, 400 in general. This is going to be very interesting. And everybody else is close, so I don't know where to call this one. Uh, I guess Caitlin Bob, maybe. Uh, or maybe Priya of India. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. If I'm not mistaken, Priya actually is a medalist from the last one. So uh, let's see. Let's see this one. This is going to be interesting. I think Priya might actually have that motivation and make it out. So here we go. 400 meter men. First two and then the next two fastest times. So here we go. We have in lane one, Mazula. Mazala. Muzala, actually, from in lane one. Canada's Michael Roth in lane two, uh, in lane three, Mora, in lane four, Jeremy Bembridge of Jamaica, in lane five, Lewis, in lane six, uh, Remus of Romania, in lane seven, Italy's Lorenzo, in lane eight, Czech Republicans, uh, Tadis. Looking at this time, let's see the quickest time here. That's a 45.94, and that's Jeremy Bembridge. I think he's got the favorite for that one. Let me move on to the next one. That's going to be hard to call. Let me try to speed it up. In lane one, Adrian Bondock. In lane two, we got David Malenga. In lane three, Patrick. In lane four, Anthony Pasella of Botswana. In lane five, uh, Dubham. In lane five, a Nigerian of Nigeria. Elkanah of Kenya in lane six. Isarus in lane seven and uh, Anthony in lane eight for South Africa. Looking at the seed time here, 46-10, Anthony Pasella. But this is an actual close field. This is going to be hard for me to call because look at this. David Malunga, Malenga is actually close with a 46-1-4, then a 46-44. This is actually going to come down to who's the best on the day. We got four athletes that's going to be competing. And this might actually be the heat where it's going to be the next two fastest times to qualify out of. Look, Nigeria, South Africa, Botswana, uh, Zambia, uh, those athletes are all right there. This is going to come down there. And if this athlete from uh, Syria, I believe that is, or Sri Lanka actually, uh, comes down and runs a PR, whew, they're going to be working. Now, um, let's see. We got in lane one, Kennedy from Kenya. Lane two, Nigeria, that's Ajayi. In lane three, that's South Africa's Pele. In lane four, 
That's uh, Han from Jamaica in lane five. That's Rahman in lane six. That's Muhammad in lane seven. That's Ambar, Jaman, Alzarani. Al and then in lane eight, that's Revan Williams. So let me look here. It's a 45-53 from Pelé of South Africa. Wow. Life Pelé or uh, is that Lith or Life Pelé? 45-53. Next closest time, I think that's a 46-22 from Taj Ham of uh, Jamaica. So those two athletes are probably the favorites. This might actually be some fastest times coming out of here. This is going to be close. Oh, the Nigerian athlete, Ajayi or uh, Bimadele, Bamidele um, from Nigeria. He's right there, too. This is going to be – these – he two and three? Oh, man, this is going to be some heartbreak. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. Now, that's all I got for here. Thank you for uh, coming with this. I'm going to try to do that same energy I did at the end. I noticed I, I kind of woke up. When I'm used to announcing a lot, I'm just like, dude, boom, 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 boom. I actually got to get back into that right now. But hopefully you guys stuck it through to all the way to the end. I thank you all for coming out to this because um, thank you for watching Head & Shoulders ATR where we cover athletes' performances or otherwise uh, Head & Shoulders above the rest. And if you saw this on Premiere and you donated via Cash App to support the channel, or uh, signed up for Patreon, or did a super chat, or did um, PayPal donation. I thank you in advance because uh, with people like you, you are keeping this YouTube channel going, and you're supporting the animated race videos that we're gonna have coming up. And some of you guys may question why I'm saying that now, but in the premieres past, when I've run a premiere or a live chat, people do actually contribute on those. So I won't have your name to shout out here because obviously I'm doing this pre-recorded, but at least. I can acknowledge you guys that are helping produce this channel and this production that's here. So thank you all. I'll catch you all on the next one. Definitely go to World Athletics website and check them out because we got people that's uh, coming up. Oh, and um, there are so many athletes that have come out of this, but catch you all on the next one. Peace.